at the ground level, there are cars, vehicles, and up in the sky, there, there are airplanes. So some spaces between is the new frontier. My name is Atsushi Ogawa. I'm the head of uh, Advanced Research Center of Excellence at Honda R&D. We're focusing on EV as well as EV toll, so-called the flying car. So for electric vehicle, comparing to the ICE engine, you don't want to give up the um, range, cost, and of course styling, just to secure the, for the battery space. For EV range, the battery performance is important, but aerodynamics performance should not be overlooked, which is equally important. To optimize the um, styling of the exterior while keeping the minimum drag, it's, it's a step-by-step -step approach, or it's a mill-by-mill -mill approach. So um, one mill change for um, exterior matters, and it changes the drag drastically. So Cadence CFD guarantees the, the accuracy of the one mill change. So that's the key. For EVTOL, we need to use lots of calculation, hundreds, thousands for optimization, as well as guarantee the different posture from Hoover to cruise mode. The airflow around the flying car are very complex. Lots of interference between the rotors and the wings, and we have to solve all the detailed flow with the, with the CFD tool. The challenges for CFD has been the same for decades. One is accuracy, the other is efficiency. We expect the Cadence CFD to guarantee, of course, the performance, as well as to speed up the development to make it market as fast as possible. So uh, with the Cadence, for the past 10 years, we had all the success, and I'm very confident we'll keep the success in the future.